Right, brak the yahoo, brak the yahushai, brak the yahoo, brak the yahushai, brak the yahoo, brak the yahoo, bashim yahushai, bashim, rakakudash, the blindness of the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which you well. I want to say salutations to the whole for the left out there, you akim to zadakim, that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity on the pre shaman. This week's topic is going to be entitled Fight. Inspiration comes from, you know, the apostles, El Taha, Pasal El Gabar did the lesson going into these different demons. You know, Pasal El Taha had a demon um, fuck with him. And he pretty much rebuked it in the name of the Lord. That comes with experience. That comes with being seasoned. Look, man, when demons jump on you, don't think you're going to be a apostle of the Lord. Just get away from me, demon, and call on the name of the Lord. Nah, man. Look. That comes with experience. But the reason I want to do this show is because the apostle said, look, man, that's a normal normal. He ain't had something like that happen in 10 years. And then the spirit got on the apostle of Gabal to get on the fact that right now these elites on the left hand is t dabbling with these demons. So, look, that tells me through the spirit, look. Water always flows down, you know what I'm saying? Thing, spirit flows from the top on down. So that tells me, look, man, them demons are going to come 10 times more hard, man. Especially as we approach them towards the end. You know, quick update on what's going on. You know, you still got protests going on, rallies going on. Pretty much, those rallies, a lot of the, the majority of the, the resistance to this lockdown, again, it's going to be Edomites, Esau. Because Esau, the whole thing is, if you're going to tell me to stay inside because of a COVID-19 pandemic, what's stopping you from telling me to go inside my car? You're taking, taking away my right to make my own risk. That's how come when they open up that beach in Florida, you ain't see a lot of Jake, right? In fact, when I was watching The Breakfast Club this morning, um, Charlemagne gave them donkey the day or some shit like that, and then you had Jake calling up saying, look, man, I'm just here to say, look, man, I, we weren't there, man. We wasn't trying to get that COVID-19, man. We wasn't there. So that's not all Jacksonville is not that dumb. So they're making it look stupid. They're trying to make you look stupid for saying, look, man, I want my rights. And as I drive around and I do the lift, you know, I'm observing things. I see that Esau is treating this thing a lot different than Jake. When I'm in the uppity rich areas, Esau is still running around, w walking his dog. They're not social distancing. They're talking face to face, no masks, no none of that shit. Riding their bikes. But when I go down now to the hood part, Jake is masked up, gloved up, mask on. Because one, one, conformity, and two, social media, man. So Jake is more easily manipulated to shit for the most part. And Esau like to look into shit. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to pull a fast one on these Edomites. You're not going to take their gun so easily. You know what I'm saying? They're going to look into shit. So that's why they uprising. So I'm not saying all of them is doing that. Because look, you have a mixture. But I'm saying it's a majority. So things are moving. Things, are, You know what I'm saying? And right now, it's a standoff between Governor Cuomo and, and, and Donald Trump. You know what I'm saying? Because you already know Trump's plan. He wants to open this shit up, make this thing boom, put money out there. Cuomo's like, hold on, okay, okay, I, I got you, I got you on that, but I need my $500 billion. So pretty much this guy and a couple other governors is holding the state ran ransom for that for that bread, man. They might say, they, when, they, when they say the word, we need this funding, that just means, they, look, I'm not letting this shit go till you give me my money. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's going on, and they really to push this thing to the utmost. Now, Donald Trump could step in at any moment and say, look, open this shit up. But what he don't want to do is he don't want to have a negative appearance by the people. That's how come he's not with testing because he know they could fudge the numbers and spike the shit up. And one move that I saw when I was watching the uh, every, um, the task force, you know, he speaks about an hour. You watch it, you can take away a lot. He said, look, we're going cotton swabs. We're not giving no ventilator machines. You know what I'm saying? In other words, he's making a test so cheap. So that's in... in, in Layman's terms is he's saying, look, fuck you. You're not getting all that money. Here's this cotton swab. You could test with that. You know, so Cuomo said, look, I'm going to hold this shit out some more. So, hey, man, there's a standoff. Red state, blue state, Democrat, Republican. Open it up. Don't open it up. You know what I'm saying? Jake is already sedated. <laughs> the Dem you know, the Democrats saying, look, I'll give you two, two k a month. Just stay inside and shut up. So Jake is already with it. You know what I'm saying? Esau is not with it. Things are boiling up. So this is the times that we're in. This is the current events. And look, man, you got to prophesy these times. I mean, you got to prophesy year round. But look, how the fuck can we stay still? How did, now is definitely not the time to be hands in pockets. Oh, man. You know, hell no. Fuck that shit. This is the time. You know what I'm saying? But going back to this, the topic at hand, this is First Timothy's, uh, First Timothy 6 and 12. It says, fight the good fight of faith. So, yeah, when these demons are going to be coming harder, um, we got to fight, man. We can't just... Take it rolling over. Um, we can't just say, man. And you know, you look in the mirror, you know your faults. I know my faults, man. I'm trying to work on my faults. You know what I'm saying? You know your faults. We know we're not perfect. 
No, we'll never be perfect. You know what I'm saying? Not on this side. We could aim for perfection by doing this work. But you know in the mirror, you know your particular faults. Look in the mirror and acknowledge your faults, man, and, and, and pray to the most high that your faults don't overcome your shit. Because that's what I'm doing, man. That's what we all got to be doing, especially as we approach the end. It says, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Now, what's eternal life? These scriptures, man. These scriptures are incorruptible. All right? Every particular kingdom we've been in, we've been around people that have millions and billions upon riches, all right? But they couldn't take it with them in the next life. But we were able, whether we were in the Roman Empire, Babylonian Empire, uh, going all the way back, man, we always had this word with us because the scripture said our works follow us, man. So that's eternal, all right? The Roman denarius, that died with your ass back then. The Greek drachma, that died with your ass, man. Whatever currency that was trading in Jerusalem, if you sold out for it, that died with your ass back then. But if you had this word and teaching the word of the Heavenly Father, that's going to come with you every single time period, man. So don't let that go. That's the main thing you got to fight for. It says, Whereunto thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses, man. So look, this is the profession. This is the main number one job. Yeah, don't, I'm not saying go out there and quit your fucking day job, right? Um, I'm saying this is the main profession. This is the first thing. This is this got to come before anything. And that's why we was out there with the mask on, whatever, because look, that's not breaking no law, statute, commandments, man. That's not, look, that's just abiding with, um, you know, Brendan on to Caesar was Caesar. Now, this devil start coming out with some other shit, mandatory vaccine to be on the street, then, oh, nah, hell no. You know what I'm saying? But until then, you can't put nothing before this word, point blank, period, because this is the only thing that's going to save you. 2 Timothy is the third chapter, the 15th verse. Knowing the Holy Scriptures from a youth, which is able to make you wise unto salvation. That's why it's above gold. That's why it's above woman. That's why it's above everything. Because none of those things I mentioned could save you. What can save you is this eternal life, the Scriptures. Right? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is in these Scriptures. He's a Savior. And He's saving us in the form of these Scriptures. You come in this thing. This thing got spiritual power, man. The words that we speak in God's spiritual power, a man could be hooked on cigarettes for 20 years. He comes in the truth. Look, like you got to put that down. All the nicotine patches, all the counseling, that shit never work. You say, look, in the name of the Lord, brother, you got to, you know what I'm saying? And boom, he, you know what I'm saying? He shake that demon off. So that's a demon he was fighting for 20 years. And just like that, the most I could make it come off. Or he could battle it a few years. He might battle it. I, I, look, I'm being real with it. You know what I'm saying? A, a, a dude might struggle sincerely with a weed demon for a year, a month. You know what I'm saying? But some some brothers, the world could just hit them so, boom, that shit is off them. You know what I'm saying? So when you come in this thing, I'm not saying, look, you're going to super turn around, switch, be a super duper 360 Israelite perfection. No, you're never going to be perfect. You're going to constantly keep battling demons, man. And look what the apostle said, man. Ten years later, that demon and try to fuck with him again. So this is the, this, this is the, this is the thing. This, this is the, uh, the, the, the tribulation, the fight that we're going to go through, man. Now, look. Straight up, you're going to lose a couple rounds. I'm letting you know that now ahead of time. Count the course, but don't lose the fight, man. You got to get back up. You know what I'm saying? The goal is to ultimately win the fight. You know, Satan's going to get a couple rounds. You're going to fuck up here and there. Them demons might get the best of you physically, spiritually, mentally. Make you do dumb shit, stupid shit, shit you regret. Oh, man, damn, man. Why the fuck I ain't do this? Why the, you know what I'm saying? That's going to come with it. But don't lose the war. All right? Now, this is the book of... um. James chapter 4 verse 7, submit yourselves therefore to the Most High, alright, so put yourself under rule and subjection to the Heavenly Father, alright, Son, the men that He's appointed, okay, resist the devil and he shall flee, resist the devil and he will flee, so what does that word resist mean, let's go into it, Enthysema, to set oneself against, to withstand, resist, oppose, to set against, right, to stand against, Withstand. So that's the, that's a fight, man. You know? That don't mean just stand there, yeah, demon, just do your thing on me. Nah, man, you got to look. How about Shem Yashah? Just rebuke that spirit. You know, rebuke that spirit out of my mind. Rebuke that spirit out of my sleep. You know? You got to constantly keep praying to the Lord. Prayer is powerful, man. You got to give charges to them angels. Like, you know, in the name of Yahweh, about Shem Yashah, such and such, such and such. And look, those demons, they don't clash swords. All right? They don't clash swords. No, it's look. You know, the the the, the 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 angel that you pray to is going to go up to that left-hand angel. they both angels. Go up to that left-hand angel. Look, back up off of him right now. Back up. I got a call from Yahweh Shah. You got to back up off of him. And that's how it's going to go down. 
They don't. The, and the left hand angel, he go, okay, so lock. I'm out. You know what I'm saying? That's it. They, you know, they don't war and tangling, wrestling. None of, no, look. Yahweh Shai said, back up off him right now. And he's going to back up off you. And you got to have faith in just like that. You know what I'm saying? And you got to constantly keep praying for this thing, man. You got to constantly keep praying. You know, just like how you have a computer, you always had to update your antivirus because there's always new virus and shit coming out through the firewall. It's the same way you got to keep, you know what I'm saying, keep them scriptures, prayers and stuff, the shows, lessons keep going. It can't just be a one-time thing. You got to keep it going. It says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Yeah. He's going to flee from you, man. Now, I don't mean he's going to flee from you permanently. You can best believe the spirits are going to come right back because they got a job to do. You know what I'm saying? They got, look, we all got jobs to do. Our job is to teach the word. You got right hand angels. Their job is to act righteousness. You got the left hand angels. Their job is to balance it out with wickedness and fuck with you, you know? We all just doing the job for the Heavenly Father, you know? And the scriptures is telling you how to go about it to where you, tr you can make it to the end, man. The scriptures got everything laid, everything mapped out, you know? So, whatever particular problem you're going through, this is the main thing you go to. You go to the scriptures. You go back in the scriptures. You read. You watch your shows. You watch your lessons. Watch brothers' videos. Uplift your spirit. And say, look, man, fuck that. I ain't going to just take this shit laying over. I'm going to pray. I'm going to go on a fast. You know? I'm going to get back in the lessons. I'm going to get back in some basics. You know, I'm going to really soak these scriptures up, you know? And most importantly, you have to do what you say. Because you can say and regurgitate everything I just said. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But if you don't actually do it, then you just a fucking actor. You gotta, you gotta do these things, man, for this thing to take full effect. Now, this is the book of um, 1 Samuel 6 and 23. It says, And it came to pass when the evil spirit from the Most High was upon Saul. So that Saul, um, he, he, you know, he was anointed of the Heavenly Father to be the first king over Israel. Um, I believe at the age of 30. Same as David. They were both got in there like at 30 years old. I know David 30 for sure, but... But they reigned at X amount of years, and that evil spirit started to jump on Saul. And Saul started to get rebellious, you know what I'm saying? You know, Samuel's telling you this, you know, but you want to offer sacrifices when it was just better to listen. You know, you're not getting no answer from the Lord, and instead of just saying, wait a minute, my the, the fact that I didn't get no answer, that's my answer. You want to go the extra mile and deal with witches and be jealous of David. So them, the demons was just pounding his mind. You know what I'm saying? It's just getting more and more on Saul's mind. And what did David do? Did David um come at Saul with some niggery shit? Nah. David understood, like, man, look, you know, man, look, at the end of the day, he's anointed of the Lord. Let me do my part before them demons jump on me. Let me just try my best to be brotherly, you know? So first Samuel chapter 16, verse 23. And it came to pass when the evil spirit from the most side was upon Saul, that David took a harp and played it with his hand. So you know, the Lord put music, because there's physical therapies you could do to actually fight against these demons, whether you might, you know, like, oh, during this whole situation, man, where them motherfuckers is telling me to go inside and stay inside and lock up, and look, if you were, if you were an essential worker, nothing has changed for you, you know what I'm saying, 37% of Americans, nothing has changed for you, because you've been going, doing your daily routine, whatever, but the other percentage of, of, of Americans that aren't with daily work, they might have been affected in some way. You know, so I know my, I like my personal physical stress relief. I like working out, man. You know, I'm coming straight. I like working. I like lifting heavy fucking weights, throwing it down. I feel good about that. You know what I'm saying? It make me feel good. Make me release my mind. And now that I haven't had that, it's like, damn, everything. I'm loving this shit. I'm loving the turmoil. I'm making some, you know, money at the job, all this type of shit. But that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not able to work out, so I got... You know what I'm saying? So I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go out there. I'm a, I'm a, I like looking at my, the, the nature. I like looking at nature. I like looking at the trees. I like looking at animals. You know what I'm saying? I might be doing my lifting. I pull over at a lake and just absorb that moment. And, and a lot of people, what they're doing now is getting accustomed to what they call the new normal, which is telecommunications, telehealth, um, uh, Zoom, Skyping, pretty much interacting from a distance through the internet. That's that's that stay at home shit, and I ain't with it. You know what I'm saying? I like I like fresh air. I like being outdoors. I like you know what I'm saying. I like getting fresh air and shit moving. But fuck it, you know the greater picture is all hell is breaking loose. So I said, you know what, man, I'm gonna adapt, get my workout in inside, and I've been feeling a lot better. So you might have your shit might be playing a guitar. Your shit might be not your shit, but your your means of fighting this, these demons outside of prayer might be um 
you know, I'm gonna light up some incense, or you know, I'm, I might go for a walk, or I might, yo, you might have an animal, right? Animals could help. You might have your your pets or or whatever. You know, you know what soothes your spirit. You know what I'm saying? So you might do that, and them demons that will fuck with you, like, oh man, yo, I'm, that shit ain't on my mind no more. And all I'm doing is, you know what I'm saying? All I'm doing is I'm I'm, I'm at the park with my dog, or I'm. All I'm doing, oh, I'm looking up with a brother, or you know what I'm saying, or something, something like that, something to that effect. So what David saw was the harp. The harp got it done for Saul, and that's 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 so spiritual because look, music. When you play music, music got a spirit to it. You know what I'm saying? If you see somebody listen to '70s music, they got a certain spirit. Some some people listen to the '80s music. You know, you might be there's a difference when you play in Twenty One Savage and Aretha Franklin. You know what I'm saying? This is a complete different spirit. So. The, the harp that King David was playing, the instrument that King David was playing, it was, I don't know what type of beetle, but it was a soothing, it worked for Saul. You know what I'm saying? It soothed his mind. Them demons, was, okay, you know, his, his mind's being soothed. Like, you know, his mind's was on other things, and it was working for him. So that's another way you could fight these spirits off, man. All right? You might get into, you might say, look, man, shit could be heavy on your mind. Next thing you know, you put on a certain movie, and shit start weighing off your mind or a certain documentary. There's different avenues to go against these spirits. You know what I'm saying? That fuck with you. It says, And it came to pass when the evil spirit from the Most High was upon Saul that David took a harp and played with his hands so Saul was refreshed and was well and the evil spirit departed from him. So let's get that word refresh. Let me see now. That's rewalk. To be wide, be spacious, to breathe, easily be relieved. You know what I'm saying? You know, you see the words there. Oh, you might not be watching this, so let me read it. A primitive root, rather identical with uh, rawak, which is, you know, the smell, scent, perceive, odor, accept. You know, so yeah, so pretty much he got his, his senses back. He got a, a refreshed sense of things back when them demons hopped off his mind, you know, burning candles. You know, prime example on that is. If you, you know, you you might your room might be messy. You, have, you know, your room is messy. You ain't clean the shit in a minute. When you step in your room, you just feel like, yo, fucking weird. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to when it's clean and fresh. You know what I mean? You might have got your swiffle or, you, you know, your, your, your pine sole the floor and the bathroom is clean. It's, you just walk in. It's different. You know what I'm saying? you like up now. Like, you know, like you different. It's a different vibration because, you know, cleanly, as they say in the world, cleanliness is, a God, is next to godliness. They say that in the world. But they don't even know what they're really saying. They're saying like, look, man, there's a certain spirit when my place is clean. There's a certain spirit when I'm I'm listening to a certain music. You know what I'm saying? That ain't no superstition. superstition. That's that's how things really go, man. These things affect your spirit. That's how come Esau in his media, in his movies, all this shit is violence and niggas with attitude. and Because he knows that carries a certain vibration. And it's, the vibration is that if to make you more niggery, dumb you down. Uh, all the stupid shit on social media and, 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 and this new different every social media is coming out is just simplifying the people, shaking their ass, make a quick video, try to get famous off that, just dumb shit. That's how come Jake's in the 60s and the in the 40s and the 50s, they were quicker to revolt and, and stuff because their mind was on different things. Not the stupid shit that we see now today. It says, so Saul was refreshed and was and was well and the evil spirit departed from him. So, yeah, you know, so again, you know, Apostle Lataha did that video, like, look, that demon jumped on him. The Apostle Lataha got mad. Like, what the fuck, you You know what I'm saying? You should have known better. You know, that was his spirit, but that ain't going to be your spirit necessarily. You know what I'm saying? You might think you like that. Yeah, demon, get away. And that demon will come back, you, nigga, you think you're on some level? So, you know, keep that in mind, too. So, you got to... When them spirits jump on you, you can't think you're going to deal with it like every brother. You just, you just got to fight and pray. You just got to fight and pray, fight and pray nonstop without cease, man. Because as we approach closer to the end of this thing, that's just going to intensify. That's going to intensify. You know what I'm saying? You, your mind got to be very fortified, man. Luke 7 and 32, by the way. So the music that King David played was an actual music. But the music we play to sedate your mind to... To fight off those demons and, and, and relax your mind is this word. It's the word. There's these videos. You know what I'm saying? You might watch a video, get amped up. Oof, your, bro your brother, man, your video, man, that shit really helped me. Whatever I was going. You might see shit. Look, I, I wasn't even trying to pin the, point this out for you. I wasn't even trying to do this video for anybody. I, it was, I was just in the spirit. The lesson might be something on, 
something, uh, you know, we have all different types of lessons, man. It might be a lesson on working on your diet. Yo, damn, Ike, you know what, man? My, you know what? I was fucking up my diet. Or, hey, Ike, you did a lesson on faith, man. That lesson was great. Um, Man, endurance, brother. You know what, man? You know what, brother? I wasn't, I feel like I wasn't enduring, but you did that lesson. Hey, man, I saw, I saw this one lesson with this one brother. I was like, damn, that shit is hitting me hard, man. I, it was, the scriptures are two-edged sword. I was like, man, you know what? I got to chill with that. That Hey, man, look, Lord Salakia, that's the spirit that that brother did that lesson. It was beautiful. So every lesson you do, don't think, no, look, most of going to have a hit for whatever brother's going through that particular situation, man. So we're not doing this thing in vain. I don't give a fuck what YouTube say. I don't give a fuck if YouTube say zero views. You can say negative views. I don't give a fuck what you say. I know this word is not going out void. The scriptures say prophesy on into the wind anyways. So it's going to hit. Whoever the most I wanted to hit and build them up and have this thing keep growing. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't do nothing against this word, only for it. Luke 7, 31. And the Lord said, Whereunto shall I liken the men of this generation? And to what are they like? Verse 32. They are like unto children sitting in the marketplace and calling one to another and saying, We have piped unto you and ye have not danced. We have mourned to you and ye have not wept. So we're those charmers. We're the ones that's piping. We're the ones that's doing this music. How are we doing this music? Going on in the highways and byways, the internet highways and byways, pushing it, push, pushing this lesson up, man. And the ones that are going to dance to it, again, you might, going back to the whole music analogy, you might not listen to 21 Savage or Kodak Black or what else these niggas, Little Pump. I don't like that type of music. I fuck that trap shit. You might like Aretha Franklin. You might like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, stylistics and Al Green, that might be so. The but you're not gonna dance to no damn 21 Savage, vice versa. If you listen to that new generation, you're not gonna really feel the old generation, right? You're not gonna dance to that particular music. So, this music that we're kicking, only the elect is gonna, yeah, man, that's my jam, you know what I'm saying? Spiritually. So, when we say, look, the mark of the beast is the microchip, the elect is gonna say, I see that, that makes absolute sense. While the, the two thirds is gonna say, a nigga like, it's like a, a guy like, uh, General Johanna's gonna say, nah, take the microchip. That's the wise thing to do. That's like, you know, when a DJ go, and fuck the whole shit up. That's how that sounds to us. Like, well, hold on, what? So, you know, that's how it's gonna be for each particular person on uh, every Israelite on this earth. When you hear that certain music, oh, that's my jam. That's, the, yo, you saying the right things, bro. And then when you hear some bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Like take a vaccination. Eee! Hold on, stop that. Shut, shut, shut the club down. What you just said, bro? You know, so that's how it's gonna be for the elect members, the ones that truly get it. You know what I'm saying? That truly understand these scriptures. That when they hear that bullshit, eee! yo man, I don't know that. I don't like that. I don't like that part. Of, I don't like that lyrics right there in that song, man. I don't, you know. But yeah, man. So this is the music that we piping on to brothers to help fight. Look, Akim, whoever this hit, stay strong, stay in this thing. We're approaching the end. Now is not the time to be getting weak, falling off, and letting them demons bully you around. You know what I'm saying? Have you up on the ropes. Boom, boom. Rip shot. Nah, fuck that. You know what I'm saying? You got to put your guards up, put on a whole armor of faith, and get in this thing and keep fighting. Hey, with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekakwadash, the blinds of the apostles and the elders of great mills on which you well. And salutations to the whole for the elect out there. You Akim, to Zadakim, that do this thing in the most truth and sincerity. Shalom.